Warning, the Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and lots of psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers and Geekers Christie, Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? This is going to be probably a really short video. <laughs> a real short video. Um, it's not really much to document aside from I, I saw an ad for a Fairchild's Channel F that's in the sorry state of disrepair. And I feel like I need to, um, I need to try to save her. I need to try to save her. I don't have really much experience with the Channel F, uh, if any at all, that I can actually recall. I do remember seeing one at like a, a church family's house, church family friend's house. I don't know if I've ever actually used one. So this is going to be interesting. So I'm going to go get the thing. I may or may not have the skills to repair this. If not, I'm sure there are plenty of resources out there. And if not, maybe I could pass it on to somebody else who does have the skill set. Um, but I'm going to play around with it when we get it at home. And either way, we're going to look at it. We're going to have a look at it when I get it home. And then, uh, I don't know. I don't know if we can even talk about a cause of action. But either way, I got to get in a fucking car. I need to go get a drink, put some gas in the tank. Because I got about 45 minutes to get to this damn thing. This is the Mamma Jamma in itself. This is the Fairchild Channel F. And a small, small disclaimer. This is not how I received it. It was a lot dirtier. <laughs> um, because pandemic, I got out the Clorox wipes and wiped it down just real quick. So uh, it was a little dirtier. But overall, I think the case looks good. And, you know, at the end of the day, I suppose if I walk away with something like that, that's fine. Uh, this thing seems to need all kinds of stuff. And, you know, if anything, it's just going to be something fun to tinker around with. Um, the power supply came to me like this, not even connected to the prongs themselves. Hopefully, I'm even in the frame here. And one of the connected wires. I don't even know if this will show up on camera. Right there. It's disconnected. There's no screws holding the body on. Uh, we'll get to that here in a second. But here's the controllers if you've never seen one. Very interesting. Very interesting. This right here is your actual controller. So you use this to your directional, you know, 16 directions. Um, you can also twist it, you can pull it, and you can pop it. Now, I don't have any games, but Pong, a Pong style game, is built into the machine. So if I do get this fired up properly, um, we'll have at least something to test it with, you know? So let me pull the top off. He doesn't even have screws. He didn't even have the screws for this. So I'm going to have to seat those out. I'm pretty sure that are your standard machine screws from the time. Um, this one was inspected by 13, which is pretty cool because I had to get exit 13 off of the highway. And um, I don't even know where it is. 13 there. So we got the 13 trifecta. That tells me this thing is going to be just fine. <laughs> it's going to be just fine. I don't know. Oh, there goes the number four. Um, so I'm thinking the first thing I'm going to do, I mean, I'm going to have to pull off a bunch of screws to get the shielding off. Uh, to get into it is just try to get power to the damn thing and if you look over here there's like a well let me bring the camera to you there's this weird connecto connecto job and inside here there's also a four four point connection system inside the power supply itself right there so i don't know what that's about i'm not i'm not an electrician i don't know a lot about this i know enough to be enough to be dangerous uh, <laughs> Uh, but my first my first thought is to get power to the thing whether i find another machine to c connect a new power thing because this looks like it just pops right off so if i can find a power supply for it great if not let me put this back in so it goes back the proper way if not what i'm probably going to end up doing is just finding a power supply of the same value and splicing it in somehow with, of course, counsel from maybe my buddy Willie. He's very knowledgeable of these kinds of things. Uh, so he can tell me what each one of these wires do so I can splice it in properly. And then try to go from there with the power. I am going to pull the shielding off after the fact here. Um, so 
I can look at and see if there's any obvious anything. I'll leave it as is. Let me put the top back on so you have actually something nice to look at. What we'll do is we'll go through the thing and see if there's any caps that look like they're, they're swell and, and leaking or anything like that. But yeah, huh, there it is. That's the uh, Fairchild Channel F I just picked up. And hopefully we can rescue this thing. If you have a non-working one and you wouldn't mind pulling off a power supply for me, that would be awesome. Um, I would throw a few bucks your way, of course, to make that happen. And if you ever repaired one of these or know of any anyone who has or anything like that, let me know. I could use some advice. Uh, things to look out for that's common. It's my understanding this is the first generation model. And there's a, is there a cover that's supposed to go on here? Maybe I'll seek that out as well. But overall, the, the case is in great shape. It's in great shape. Let's just hope what's inside works. And if not, what's the worst case scenario? I find one that's ugly, and I put the guts of that in there as long as it's working. I don't know, but either way, I am super excited to have this. Hopefully, we can pick up some things to make this thing work. I would really enjoy that. And um, like I said, Pong is built into the machine, so... If I don't get any cartridges between now and then, which I plan to do, I'll just grab a couple of just whatever I can that's fairly cheap and uh, just have something around in, in the event that we get her up and running. Guys, go ahead and let me know what you think down below. Uh, are you a Fairchild Channel F fan? Fascinating console. Fascinating console as far as its history. It's the little engine that just could not, but it has a significant role in the video game world very first console to genuinely use uh, interchangeable programmable cartridges with ROMs on them and that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool even though it didn't survive such a such an interesting system and I'm happy to have it here regardless of the condition and hopefully we can change that guys go ahead and leave feedback thumbs up thumbs down all feedback to the creep is positive don't forget I am raising money for the Alzheimer's Association, link will be down below. I will do the walk to Alzheimer's in September. And I am trying to raise money in honor of my father who passed away of the disease. So please, if you could click on that link and throw a few bucks my way. And or share the link. Either way is greatly appreciated and helps out equally as much. I would greatly appreciate that. And guys, until next time, hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Creep it real. And bye-bye. I gotta get some armor all for this. This would look awesome.